Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we have Dusty Springfield for you. Dusty Springfield. So yes. first off, I think I've heard the name Dusty Springfield or suggested in the comments maybe mm. even. That's where I want to call it. But I thought it was a male singer. I would have assumed that as well. I've don't even. I've never even heard of Dusty Springfield. So for me, I'm at Zippo pre knowledge. But um, if you just said that to me, I would have assumed it was a guy. Yeah, and also, I mean, a little bit uh, more on the name Dusty. Um, kind of interesting to me that she's a UK based artist because I would have thought of a Dusty Springfield would be like a Southern singer name. Yeah, somewhere you know? from the US. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's I, when I think of US Dusty, name. I think of that short form for Dustin. Yeah, the name exactly. Dustin. So, which was yeah. my cousin's name. Well, so, <laughs> um, anyways, uh, we've got Dusty Springfield for the first time. First time reactions is a going theme yes. on the channel. That's why we don't know anything about Dusty. But we always appreciate your insights, guys. So, mm -hmm. drop it down low. Let us know if this was a great, great place to start. If it wasn't, if there are other songs you'd like to listen from Dusty yeah. Springfield that we should check out. Let us know. Uh, we always appreciate your guidance, and uh, that's assuming that we like Dusty Springfield. But given that she seems very renowned, I mm -hmm. think that we hopefully will. And yes. We have a little pop quiz question for you too before we get started. And this song is a cover of an original song that was recorded in a different language. So what language was that? Yeah, let us know if you know. If not, don't worry. We'll give you that answer towards the end of the video. Are you ready to check out some Dusty Springfield? I am. Let's do it. Let's go. So interesting for me to start off with because that intro is a, a sample to hip hop songs that I've heard. Yeah. I'd say, da, da, da. I think it was, you can't tell me nothing or something like that. I can't even remember the mm. artist, but I do remember the song name, but I remember it being such a cool introduction because it sets the tone for the song. So the one dramatic. I'm accustomed to, I'm interested to see where we're going to go with this one. And uh, I know you guys are like, let's just go with the song. It just almost reminds seconds. me of the intro for like a dramatic movie. Well, that's it. That's what I was about to say. I love the intro to it because it's like this build up, And when the hip hop song comes on this hard hitting kick comes in mm -hmm. and it just explodes the life from there yeah. i don't know if this is the original composition because mm -hmm. we said that it had you know she'd taken this song and redid it right so yeah. i don't know if the instrumentation is original in that introduction or if that Ooh. also stems came from, from the original performance exactly that she took the inspiration so, from yeah. so we might as well restart the intro because it's so fantastic <laughs> Just keep it going. She's, <sighs> she's captured me so much. Her vocal is incredible. It's fantastic. I mean, 
there's so much going on already in a minute and 45 seconds. We had that great intro that mm -hmm. we already discussed. And then, you know, that led into this haunting vocal that we're experiencing from her initially. And then it's somehow going into almost like this pop vibe at yeah. the same time. So we went from this dramatic, almost R&B to a switch into a pop feel. And it reminds me a little bit of when we did Frank Sinatra's My Way. Okay. That yeah. song, it kind of gives like me that vibe from a female's of. perspective. Yeah. And she's just got such a great vocal yeah. it's so like i said just capturing me with it's the so story and, yeah. and the clarity is fantastic very like her clarity is amazing and i feel like even it just sounds so like angelic like mm -hmm. her voice is just so beautiful yeah and yeah. uh are you feeling the vibe overall is uh, like what are you, are you uh, uh like i said feeling that pop switch or the r&b what are you i feel like picturing? i'm in a little bit more of like an r&b groove like a more like emotional kind of like vibe in like she's very like just encompassed in this this passion and emotion mm -hmm. yeah. yeah this uh longing like soulful feeling. almost yeah that's what i mean i guess maybe r&b is not the greatest yeah. description for it it's a it's lot of soul. soul to it yeah um but it's definitely got this like just mix of so much in so little time it's only two minutes and 50 seconds so mm -hmm. i'm wondering what we're gonna get in the back half yeah. but definitely like though we said in the beginning like oh let us know what else to listen to like as long as we like it and i'm liking it so i want to know what else to listen <laughs> 100%. to 100 dusty springfield is fire 100 yeah, percent. so she's killing it i'm gonna rewind it back here and uh let's give some closing thoughts at the end Love that break. Memory. Drama. Life seems dead and so unreal. All that's left is loneliness. There's nothing left to That was unreal. I really liked how when they moved in, like when it was not the chorus piece and they were just kind of in the verse pieces, I feel like they had keys and using the keys and the drums for like more dramatic effect when mm -hmm. she was kind of like singing more of like the story side of it. The drama of the loneliness, yes. right? And then moving into the chorus, you had those background vocals come in and more of like a orchestral feel, I feel like build in the chorus. Yeah, I really loved how the mix between the brass of like, I believe it was a trumpet mm -hmm. that they had in there. Like that, yeah playing with her vocal mm -hmm. was so fantastic. I don't think I've heard that before yeah. because of the style of her voice. Yeah. And like that, it was kind of like when it was going up on a high note, like the trumpet would like, yeah. And, uh, you know, she's got like a soprano style, but was still mixing with the trumpet so well mm -hmm. and her vocal as well. Like the pitch control that she had mm -hmm. was, you know, top tier. Everything sounded beautiful. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I think she's probably one of the best female vocalists that I've heard. I mean, we've heard a lot of great, female vocalist but um really really impressed with this one yeah and i think she just sounds really polished like she has a lot of power and a lot of soul and emotion to her voice but it's also sounding very polished like we've heard a lot of female artists that have a lot of raw like raw gritty power and mm -hmm. raw gritty emotion to their vocal but i feel like they don't sound as polished as yeah. she does yeah, and, uh, you know she's fantastic and the instrumentation is not to be overlooked in this one either yeah. right um Again, I, I think it reminded me of that Frank Sinatra mm -hmm. even more as we went into it further. And I think that was the use of the brass and the layering and the mm -hmm. depth and, and alongside of such a powerful vocalist like mm -hmm. Dusty or like Frank Sinatra. It just brings the whole thing to life. It's just, sure. you know, it's like 
uh, I just envision, you know, from the voice box and, and the the instrumentation, like fireworks are just exploding. Yeah. And I like that the background vocals were so subtle. Mm-hmm. Like I almost didn't even notice that they were there yeah. until I really listened because her vocal stands out so much that you don't really need it. Yeah. It just adds that extra layer of depth there. Well, Dusty Springfield was clearly... We loved her. Four thumbs up from us and then hopefully one from you. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this song, but I, I, I think it was a good place to start. I mean, I don't know anything else from Dusty Springfield, but this really kind of highlighted a lot of her capability to me. So let us know what you think and let us know where we should go next. And Mm -hmm. like Sam said, hit that like button for us. And before we go, we just got to give you an answer to that pop quiz question. Yeah. So it was what language was the original song that she had heard perform that she took this inspiration from and the language was Italian. Italian. Yes. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, let us know your thoughts on this song. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and you want to join us on this journey that we're on. We've got new videos every single day. We drop two. So we'll see you tomorrow and uh, we'll be back then. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.